Well, I got bad news. Now, the last video I posted was on fixing the hay rake, which I did. I fixed the part that I saw was broken, which would be this tower here. Uh, you can see the new welds and stuff in there. And everything looked kind of straight, but I don't know, I had a little bit of a kink here. But uh, to my surprise, when I hooked it up to the tractor and folded it up, I noticed that that side, the left side, stuck way out to out, it was stuck way out. And the right side was actually hitting the frame. Well, I'm gonna show you. If you look down there, I'm gonna zoom it in. If you look down there, you can see that frame sticking way out there. See that? Now, I'm gonna flip it over to this side. And for some reason, you don't see it. Let's step over the hitch here. You don't see it, you don't see it, you don't see it, and then, uh-oh, there it is, way the hell out here. So, this thing is, oh, let me fix that. This thing is bent all the way. It starts here. You see that tiny little gap in there? It's tight there, and then it gets opened up, and then it tightens up there. That's the first bend. You can see it here. So that means that this piece here and this section here is junk. And you come down to the next section, and it's a little bit bigger. Okay. So this is definitely junk, and this one here is definitely junk. And you come here. Holy shmoles. Bent that bolt in a funny little position there. Bent it here. It even... I don't know how the hell that happened. But it even opened the top and the bottom. Really made a mess out of it. Started to fracture here. And here it actually peeled that paint. It broke this weld here. Um, it broke that weld there. Which might have already been broke. But it might have started to break. It fractured it. Uh, the other thing that's pretty evident is in these bars. these The lower... I'll have to point it from the other direction. But if you can see from the bottom here, um, you can see the... Geez, I'm going to have to go from the other direction. Sunlight's in the way. But you can see the, the bow. And it, it's bowed. It even bent on this side too, which really surprises me. But you can see that ripple in the paint there? Junk. Junked it. So, uh, here's where you can really see it. This part here is supposed to be tight, and it's loose. And this side over here, tight as could be. So, it really did its number. You can see down the bottom, as I zoom in here, you'll see the, the, the bow in it, how it's really twisted that far out. Now this is headed straight down there, and it's really off to the left. So... I didn't even look to see if this this part here was broke. I fixed this. I put a new... I rebuilt this part this spring, and I put a 5 8 inch plate there. It had a 5 16 so I figured, well, I'm going to go with 5 8 And I beefed it up really super good. Um, it did not bend the other this part of it. So, quite honestly, this piece here that I rebuilt, and I had to add this later because it was starting to fracture again. And from here forward is good. From here back, that whole beam is junk. As you can see, we got a, a bent cylinder again that's bent. I don't even know. There's probably a half a dozen things that we I don't see, and that's what kind of scares me. So, the long and the short is I called my insurance company. Now, this is a very expensive piece of equipment. That hay rake is $23,000. Twenty-two dollars to $23,000. Okay, back again. Anyways, like I was saying, this hay rake is $22,000, $23,000 new. It might even be more than that. I bought this thing four or five years ago, um, and uh, I, it was 22000 and change then. Uh, I put it together, so I got it cheaper, but it took me a full four days to put this thing all together. Um, but anyways, the insurance adjuster, he came out. Oh, and the other thing is bent. 
is actually this arm here where all the rake teeth or all the rake wheels are mounted onto. You can just see there that it, you might be able to see it in the video. But that's broke. And then there's something broken in here. It's all wobbly. You can tell here where it forced up the washer. There's the grease mark where it actually forced it up. So, yeah, it's a, it's a crying shame, but they just totaled it out on me. Now the insurance that I have, and I pay for very good insurance, um, they're going to pay me what it cost. New. They took the serial number. It said $22,000, $22,000, It is $22,000 to $23,000 that they will be paying me. Um, I got cards. Yeah, so the first number that I got back was 22000 and then they called back and they said that it would be 23000 is what they would be paying, which, you know, a lot of people think, well, $23,000, that's a lot of money for a hay rake. Well, to be quite honest with you, I think the replacement rake is $27,000. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy another one like this. Uh, I don't need it. Uh, when I bought this, I was pulling four windrows together from a 1411 disc bind and now I have the self-propelled I can't pull but two and a half wind rows together so it really isn't worth it to me to have an 18 wheel rake so I'm gonna actually downsize to a 14 wheel rake and uh, I'll take the rest of the money and uh, you know invest it elsewhere in the farm because that's the kind of person I am I put back into the business what I what I take out so Anyways, uh, by the end of this week, I should have, this coming week, it's Friday now, by the end of this coming week, I should have a check in my hand so I can go purchase a new hay rake. But I'm at the end of the haying season. I've only got a couple hundred acres, maybe a hundred acres to go. And we haven't had rain, so there is no second cut. So I guess, uh, I guess I might just hold off on buying a hay rake until January. I still have my little hay rake that seems to be doing an okay job, not a great job, but an okay job getting me finished up. Uh, yeah, so that's where I stand with the hay rake business. Um, that's what happens when you hit a guy wire on a telephone pole. Now, it didn't break the telephone pole where they'd had to buy me a new one of those or buy the people that owned that pole, the new pole. <laughs> but it didn't break it. It just messed up my very expensive Hey, Rick, what a shame. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try and keep it, actually. Uh, they offered it back to me. I think I'm going to offer them $500 for it because, to be honest with you, I got that much in tires. Each one of these damn tires, this, is, this tire here is worn, but these two back tires on this thing, they're brand new. And they'll fit my travel trailer. That's what they're for, my travel trailer. So what I'll do is I'll... See if I can buy it for five hundred dollars, because there's, well, I think there's a, uh, there's one hundred and eighty bucks right there. Those two tires alone, and there's six of them, and there's a new one up there and a new one there. This isn't a, that one I won't use, but this one here is good, and I got two other tires. So for five hundred dollars, I'm gonna try and keep it. Anyway.